advantage of cysteine, and we'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about peptides and health, amino acids and health, especially cysteine for building a strong, healthy body. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, and it's time to hit our phones. 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to Michigan and welcome David to The Bright Side. Good morning, David. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Ben. How are you doing? Doing good. How can we help you, my friend? Good. Well, I, I wondered if you got that email about the bio alternatives for the colostrum from my wife, Pam. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's your wife, Pam. I did get it. I haven't, opened it. I haven't looked at it yet. I saw okay. it through my emails, but thank you so much for sending that out. Now, that's, was, that, was that powder colostrum or was that? Yes. The, that was powder colostrum. Yep. Yeah, it was GMO-free and awesome. BSE or something like that free. I can't, I'm legally did blind, she put, but I can't really read it. Did she put... Uh, did she put uh, the address and the phone number of the company as well? Yes, I okay, believe good. so. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for that, David. And oh, thank you, wife. I appreciate it. What's okay. going on today? Uh, well, uh, I have a friend. He found out his mom had, uh, she's 80, she had um, endometriosis when he was growing up, but she had a hysterectomy, and, you know, the, I don't know if she's having any issues from that still, but uh, my daughter's friend uh 16 years old suffering with endometriosis okay that's tell me yeah about that's that? yeah i know a lot about it and and uh, for the ladies out there never ever let a doctor hack out your female reproductive system because you have endometriosis they, there's no reason to have, and i know i've said this before and i'm not going to go off on a tangent but it just makes me so angry this idea that we can remove the organs of the body simply because something's going wrong is so offensive it's so insulting to the intelligence of the average human being it's so nefarious it's so twisted and perverted for a medical professional who's sworn to do no harm to, to operate in this fashion. It just, I can't tell you how much it galls me and it, it irritates me. So I hate, I hate to get all mad about this, but it's, just, it's a terrible situation with people that we trust, people who should know better, uh, just act like butchers, hacking stuff out of the body. Endometriosis is a metabolic issue. It's not, an, it's not a structure issue. It's not an organ issue. It's a chemistry issue. So you don't take organs out to straighten out a chemistry issue. Now, if you have cancer, that's a structural issue. That's different. But if you have a metabolic or a chemistry issue, that's not a reason to take the, the, the uh, organs of the body out. Endometriosis needs to be regarded as, number one, a problem with blood sugar and insulin. Number two, a problem with the digestive system. And number three, as an, uh, a problem with the uh, activation of the stress management system. So the three strategies for dealing with endometriosis, first and foremost, as always, correct digestive issues, especially around fats and fat absorption. That means work on uh, uh, concentrating on fatty foods, changing how you eat fatty foods, using uh, smaller portions of fatty foods, pre-processing your fatty foods in a blender or food processor, using the ultimate enzymes with your fatty foods, using apple cider vinegar at the end of meals, pancreatin, which is a type of enzyme, a digestive enzyme, uh, bilumin nightly essence. Probiotics, folks, are so, so important and underappreciated for fat metabolism. They're, they're important for every single digestive health issue you can name. They're important for everybody, but they're especially important when it comes to how we process fats. Hormone issues, female hormone issues that involve estrogen, like endometriosis, oftentimes have a fat malabsorption component. And so anything you could do to improve fat absorption is going to be helpful, and that means probiotics in addition to all the other things that we just talked about. Bile salts can help. Less than after meals can help. Then you want to start to uh, balance out the, uh, the excess estrogen. Endometriosis is a hyperestrogen condition. Too much estrogen, and there's a lot. Estrogen's a stress hormone. There's lots of ways to balance out estrogen. Probably the most effective is progesterone cream, everybody on endometriosis or everybody with endometriosis needs to be on a progesterone cream. That's the first thing a doctor should be doing for somebody who's dealing with endometriosis is get a 10% progesterone cream. You got to have a uh, you got to have a compounding pharmacist make it for you. You're not going to be able to get a 10% cream in the store. You may be able to get a 2% cream in the store, but don't fall prey. Don't be a victim to the the yam creams. You want real progesterone cream, maybe from yam, but not just just yam. Look on the ingredients on the back of the ingredient deck. Last week we talked to a gal who wanted to know about ingredients for drugs versus ingredients for uh, non-drug materials. Ingredients for a progesterone cream will say active ingredients, progesterone, and then it'll tell you how much progesterone is in there. If it doesn't have the active ingredients and the inactive ingredients separated out, it's not a real progesterone cream. 
So look for two percent or so, proge- uh, sorry, ten percent or so progesterone uh, from a compounding pharmacist. If worse comes to worse and you can't find somebody to make it for you, go with a two percent progesterone cream. If you don't want to deal with the progesterone cream, use pregnenolone tablets, a hundred milligrams a day. Everybody with endometriosis. If you're not, uh, don't want to go with a progesterone cream, which is the best. Go with pregnenolone capsules or tablets, which you can get uh, at a health food store, a hundred milligrams a day. Uh, Then you want to make sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar. Very often endometriosis is associated with dysglycemia. That means restricting your intake of refined carbohydrates and sugars and fruits and fruit juices and anything that spikes your insulin. Using more protein, of course, is your best strategy for doing that. Between all those those things we just talked about, endometriosis symptoms should disappear uh, within short order. And certainly you should start to notice or your friends should start to notice a difference within a day or two. Number one, correcting digestive issues, especially around fat and using all the digestive support we just talked about, especially for fat fat malabsorption. Number two, balancing out estrogen with progesterone and pregnenolone, uh, also reducing any kind of stress on the body, especially the stress from excess sugar, and that means restricting sugars. Number three, uh, uh, using sugar-metabolizing nutrients like the B vitamins, which you'll get in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Sweeties product, in addition to just laying off the refined carbohydrates, pasta, rice, potatoes, fruit juices, and big, fat, sweet, juicy fruits you Using more protein is the easiest strategy for doing that. Does that help you, David? It certainly does, Ben. You're awesome as usual. All right, my friend. But that, you just covered most of America's diet there. I know, I know. Well, that's how it goes. It's not that hard. I, I mean, I'm not even necessary. One of these days, I'm not even going to be on the radio anymore because everything I say is the same thing. Oh, and you don't need me. be on the radio. Well, I appreciate that, that Dave. Thanks a lot, brother. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, my man. Say hi to Pam. Take care, bro. All right. Hang tight. Uh, if you're on the phone, we'll uh, get to you when you come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Howdy, folks. Pharmacist Ben here, nutritional pharmacist and skincare chemist. If you've heard me on my daily health and wellness program, The Bright Side, you know I'm on a mission to spread the good news about the power of nutritional supplementation to correct your health care challenges and get you feeling vital and healthy once again. I want you to call 877-279-9422 and check out the powerful, affordable line of nutritional products from Longevity, the ones I take and the ones I recommend. That's 877-279-9422 or go to www.gcnminerals.com. Why simply mask your symptoms with toxic pharmaceutical drugs when you can address causes with vitamins and minerals? I suggest the Healthy Start Pack. It gives your body the essential 90 nutrients it needs. Most people notice a difference right away. You can sign up to help me spread the good news of health and wellness without drugs and maybe make a little money too. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my important video message. That's GCNminerals.com or call 877-279-9422. And remember, friends, good nutrition is good medicine. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Now you can get the same survival food U.S. Special Forces use on their toughest field missions. High-protein, high-energy, freeze-dried foods known as long-range patrol rations or LERPs. Soldiers love LERP rations. They're lightweight and easy to carry. Easy to prepare by just adding water. Easy to enjoy because they taste great. Civilians love LERPs as a solution for emergency preparedness and recreational activities with limited storage space, such as hiking, climbing, sailing, or RV travel. Veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy is your exclusive source for this 2013 U.S. military overrun. Long on nutrition, these delicious entrees have a long shelf life lasting decades. 
but this rare opportunity, this limited supply, will not last long. You have to act now. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on now to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Let's go off to Indiana and welcome Ken to the program. What's going on, Ken? How are you doing this morning? Orson, Ben, I'm doing fine. You are truly a magnificent individual. I am studying all of your uh, archives. Thank I want to you. ask you today. Uh, uh, I want to ask you today about um, water. What a okay. magnificent gift from God! Water, way back water. There is a physicist, Dan Nelson, who has. Uh, I'm not sure I understand it all. He's got a white paper out on it. If you have not studied this, you need to check this out. I've been taking right. it for about nine months now. All right. Take a tablespoon and put it into a gallon of spring water. All right. Take too much of it, you'll detox too fast. Me and my wife have been taking it for nine months. There's pixie dust in there. I'll tell you, there's something something about it. Okay. What, he, what, he's, what he's supposed to have done is change the, for the cluster structure or the, the, the molecule. All right. to, you know, there's lots of nanometer. structure. Yeah, and there's lots of structured water out there. This is all based on the idea that uh, water in the body, water in cells and water in the body that's tied up and connected with proteins and other molecules is is structured a certain way. It has an organization. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that drinking water is going to have an effect on the body. I'm not necessarily convinced of that. Are you saying that you actually can give me testimonial, personal testimonial that, you, that made I a difference? I certainly can, absolutely. Yeah? Okay, yeah, well, that's... For nine months, and look, there's something about that water that is different. I'm not sure I understand all that he's doing to it, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious about water has a memory, and it's magnificent stuff. Yeah. And I'd like for you to kind of look at the white paper, see what you think about it, because right. I have a lot of people are telling me a lot of things about it. It's way back water. It's a physicist, uh, uh, Dan Nelson. He's a uh, he's right. me- mechanics on it. But, but. My question about it is, please check it out, Brother B. All right. What about the memory of water? If water that water, has a memory. Yeah, water and all, but really all molecules are... All of this program, all molecules are programmed. There's a guy named uh, Seth Lloyd, who's a professor at MIT, and he wrote a really neat book. It's a very easy to read book. He's a he's a big time quantum physicist, but he wrote a really easy to understand book called Programming the Universe. And in the book, he talks about how all atoms have a memory. Uh, they store information. That means because everything is made up of atoms, everything is memory. Everything is information. Everything stores information. And this is actually the latest of the latest when it comes to high tech physics. Is the idea that the universe and material objects are really information storage devices. Water being the most fundamental of the uh, molecules on planet Earth, like all atoms and all molecules, likewise has a memory. Homeopathy works on this principle, and we know homeopathy can be effective as a, as a, a medicinal, medicinal tool. So it makes sense that water can, can have a memory and water can have a certain structure. We know that water uh, has a structure inside of cells and in the body, but I'm just not convinced that drinking water... Uh, 
can affect the bound or structured water inside the body. I, I understand the logic of what they're saying. I will read the paper, though, and see what he says about it, and I'll make a comment on it after I read it. So I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. But I appreciate I, it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate the call. Right. Uh, thanks for the kind words, too. But uh, my, first, my, my first thought is that I don't think that simply drinking a water that has been structured for you can have an effect on the structured water in the body. I think once it gets, goes down your gullet and goes into your stomach and gets processed by all the uh, digestive juices and all the processing chemicals in the digestive tract, I can't see that that water that, ha- that was structured in the factory or through whatever devices they were using to structure it is going to maintain its structure through all of the, the chemical assaults that, 